I'm Roger Gerberding. I'm an artist. I educated at the Art Institute of Chicago, the Chicago Academy of Fine Art, and the Goodman School of Drama. I paint, I sculpt, I uh, do photography, I of course draw a lot, I act, uh, I'm a published poet. I always hate to pair those words, published and poet. Um, but published pretty widely. I get around. Uh, I still call myself, however, probably the best known anonymous artist in the state of Iowa. I've had great publicity over the years, but I'm not a publicity seeker as such. Um, I'm not out there pounding the streets every day, which you really do have to do, I think, in order to uh, keep your name alive. I'm comfortable with who I am most of the time. Uh, and this is where I work, my studio. Um, when I said that I was educated at those various institutions, um, my greatest education, I think, has taken place in the backyards of my life, where I sit, where I used to smoke, and where I read, and where I look. I look at nature. Uh, nature is very, very important to me, although I do very few landscapes. Had a friend named Aaron Bowrod, a Wisconsin artist uh, who did very few landscapes himself, uh, said something to the effect of um, why attempt to uh, remake what's already perfect. And so he concentrated on still lives the last 40 years of his life. Uh, but my work takes in a variety of subject uh, matter, uh, largely women, in motion, in stillness. Uh, I have drawn men, of course, painted men, but uh, women interest me uh, much more than men, typically, although I have many good male friends. Uh, I think that has to do with what people have told me is my being in touch with my anima, my feminine side. I'm very, very comfortable with that. And I think it comes out on uh, the surfaces I choose to work on. I work on any surface. Uh, to my left is uh, an ongoing portrait of William Burroughs, which of course uh, is done on a found yard ornament. If I were to sum myself up, uh, it would be as a termite artist. Uh, I eat away at things, and things eat away at me. Subjects get into my head, and uh, they have to be put down, often in series. One picture will not do the trick, and so there are two pictures, or four pictures, or five pictures, uh, however it goes. My first day job out of high school was at Shapiro Developmental Center, formerly known as Kankakee State Hospital formerly known as the Eastern Illinois Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Interesting experience. It was a cottage industry in Kankakee. Virtually every uh, person in my family worked there at one time or another. At one time, this is the day uh, before confidentiality was uh, an important thing, I gathered together a group of patients, did portraits of them, uh, much of my Kankakee work was destroyed by me uh, when I moved from Chicago to Minneapolis. It had been in storage in my parents' attic for a number of years. Perhaps three or four hundred pieces were um, taken care of by bonfire in my parents' backyard simply because I was no longer doing that kind of work. I began as a photorealist, uh, and I do at times return to that style in a sense. A uh, realistic style, I'd say. However, that work no longer represented me, although there are probably still examples um, in thrift stores throughout Kankakee land. Uh, I have a great fondness, um, a great nostalgia for Kankakee, uh, but Kankakee is now, unfortunately, kind of a dead city, kind of a dangerous city. And to return there is to return to memory and... Uh, while I live a lot in memory, uh, my Kankakee memories, while fond, uh, cannot possibly match what Kankakee has become. Working at the State Hospital was a great influence on me, um, 
particularly in terms of uh, what amounts to great compassion for folks with mental illnesses, disabilities of all kinds. Uh, worked in that field um, as a counselor, as a teacher for 36 years in four different states, often teaching writing, um, art, drama, uh, other uh, recovery-based uh, courses in living life as well as one possibly can. Another favorite is Bob Dylan, Lou Reed, Warren Zevon, a player. The phonograph up there works, um, but I can't get to it just now. There's another of my heroes, Orson. In this space alone, I have perhaps 2,000 pieces uh, in all media. <sighs> Altogether, I probably have about four to 5,000 pieces um, in two storage spaces. Uh, a lot of stuff has left the studio. I have been fortunate in selling quite a few pieces. However, I continue to produce. I'm pretty prolific and much of what I produce will probably never be seen by the public for one reason or another, but isn't that the way it goes? My stuff, other people's stuff, we collect art. Obviously. <laughs> and tchotchkes. That's a box piece by me on the top. That's a piece from some years ago. Actually, it's a diptych. The other piece is somewhere in storage.
by a friend of mine in New York, Augie Wheelan. Worked with Kathleen for many years ago. Again, this is dirty. Twice. That's another two piece work of one panel of Italian or three. That's a portrait of Kathleen over in the corner. Those are some box pieces I've done. This is a portrait of a friend in Minneapolis. There we go back toward the uh, mm. rather realistic style. That's by a Lincoln artist. Um, what her name is, I, I don't recall. These two are by a Kankakee artist um, who's long gone. His name was Joseph Campbell. Not the Joseph Campbell, but a wonderful artist. I got the